Hello and welcome to the 10X Detail Podcast, helping detailers 10X their business one show at a time. Today, we're talking to Andrew Gray from Dirty Details. What's going on, Andrew? Oh, not much, Dave. How about yourself? Oh, just kicking like finger licking chicken. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your business, how you got started, and what you have going on over there. Uh, yeah, so we are Dirty Details. Um, I think I pretty much got started just like everybody else. Um, for the most part, it just it's been a way of life for, I mean, shoot, since I was, you know, started with dirt bikes and, you know, was taking care of your stuff and I've, you know, gone a little over the top with it, but, um, I don't know. It's, it's something I've loved to do. It's a passion for, for me and, uh, just decided to to go all in and you know we're, we're doing it full time now and uh just taking it one day at a time great what do you love about the detailing business what do i love um all of it honestly it's you know it's great um i love doing stuff for people helping people um there's something about it's almost like an art to me um you know you get this vehicle that you know it might be terrible it might not be too bad but everything's a a blank canvas and you can turn it into whatever you want to turn it into um that's that's the thing for me it's you know i'm expressing myself through through this art um as i would call it um of detailing yes what you mean you wouldn't rather have a job no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a job? This is great. Oh my God, no. Yeah, no. And where are you located I mean, and how long you've been doing this? Um, so we're in Woodstock, Virginia. Um, we're about an hour, about an hour and a half west of DC, almost we border West Virginia. Um, I've been doing this. We started part time about two years ago now. Um, Obviously, I've been doing it, you know, my whole life, and it um, brought it up to my wife one day, and was like, you know, I could, I actually offered this, you know, we could probably, we could probably actually do this, and she said, you know, well, you don't have, you don't have a business license, we don't have this, we don't have that, and the next day, it just kind of started, started rolling on it, you know, we got, got our business license and insurance, and, and one thing led to another, and now we're you know a full-time business yes and don't you have a new shop yeah um as of january it's january 6th of last year um it went up so just over a year in the shop um it's still a work in progress you know trying to get it all the way that the way that i want it um you know just take time like everything else uh but but that's really having that controlled environment now is it's a game changer oh i Um, bet love it so tell us you know you've been in business a couple years you've been doing this a long time but only in business a couple years tell us a little about about the good bad and the ugly start out with the good what what do you like about the business or what you know the people that you work with or what do you think is the good part about the business and what's what part have you had troubles with and how did you overcome those troubles I want to say the the best thing is being able to th- this work that I put out. Um, everything's a direct a direct reflection of me, you know. So I'm expressing myself through the business um, and the people the people that I get to to work with the the customers. You know, they're, they're customers, but you're always you're you're also making a you know, a, a friendship or rela- you're building relationships with, with other people. Um, that's how do I, I try not to look at each person as a customer, it's as a potential, you know, a, a friendship or what, what, what avenue is this relationship going to take me in here? Um, it's been, it's been wonderful. Um, I've met a lot of, a lot of great people. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, this just, keeps continuing and climbing the way that it has it's been it's been great 
Excellent. So you're talking about relationships is the good, the best part that you like about this business. And I agree, like, like people know you in town, like, like you're, you're the butcher right. or the, the seamstress or the, 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 the clothing guy, you know, but you're the detailer in town. Oh, there's Andrew. He's, he's, uh, he took care of my, you know, my aunt's car and look at the, look at that car that when she drives by. So the biggest thing you're telling me is trust, you know, people trust yeah. you. Cars cost a lot of money. They trust you with yeah, their cars. And then great. when you're done with them, they're going to pay you money to do this. And you like doing it <laughs> and you're indoors and you're working for yourself and you get to rub on yeah. nice looking cars and you do an amazing job. If anybody hasn't seen his work, you got to go check out his work. And so trust is a big one. What's the downer of this business? Um, the downer, I, I don't necessarily think it, it's the I wouldn't say the detailing business as a whole, just being a business owner, um, you, you know, everything is now on your plate. Um, you've got to do it all. You know, I'm, we're small. It's just, it's, it's just me. Um, my wife works her own full-time job. Um, and we have two children. Um, so I do almost everything. I mean, there's a couple little things here and there that, you know, I get some help with. Um, but it's just, trying to get that keep that balance of you know of life um and making sure that you know you don't burn yourself out on one thing um and, and keeping your you know your relationships at, at home and your family time and, and trying to keep those two separate which is super hard to do um because it's i mean i might be and you might i might have posted that where you're Monday through Friday, eight to five, but it's a 24 seven thing. You know, I can be, I might get a message at 10 30 at night. If I'm awake, you know, I, I'm going to answer it. Um, and, and I think that's, yeah, you know, that's what I would look for as, as a customer, you know, going somewhere else. You know, I want to be, I want to be able to reach out to somebody and know that I'm going to get an answer. Um, so I try to get back, you know, as quick as possible while people are thinking about it, you know, while they're, you know, they're hot to do whatever they, you know, they're asking about. Right. Just so what I'm, what I'm, so what I'm hearing is that the, the, the downer part is running your own business. I mean, it's hard. Yeah. I've been running my own business it for is. a couple, a couple days now and there's insurance and there's this and there's that. And then kids get sick and your wife's at work and you have to pick up the pieces. But what about that car? I mean, that your kids are young, I believe. And you can't wait till they yeah. get older so they can start rubbing on some cars too. But right. Well, they, they've started. All right. Excellent. They started. And they can they sit there early. and you know, while you're taking care of it, if you had to take care of them, you know, but yes, right. I, I know all about it. I've raised two children. I, I have three, but I raised two of them while running this business and doing lots of things, doing the Mr. Mom thing and going to soccer and school and answering the calls. And I'm still doing some of that stuff today. And, and the last one, 17. So, uh, almost done, almost done. But yes, uh, running a business is not easy. It is, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And right. I think it's like 1% of the population runs a business. I'm not sure exactly what, what uh what the percentage yeah, can, is but it's a lot it's very low i can see where you know people give up and just go back to the you know working for working for the man and uh you know just collecting a paycheck you know it's, it's, it's yes easy. i i uh had a i have another friend with a boat and we were on his boat and he was telling us about his first business he took out an sba loan and borrowed money from his family, nine hundred thousand dollars, and closed oh and Lord. closed up shop about two years later, and has been it's been like ten years, but he finally uh, they would just hounded him, and and he just declared bankruptcy and just to get rid of it all. But yeah, he, he loves his job because he doesn't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. I'm like, dude, you should have done right. it a couple more times, and he'd finally be a billionaire by now. You got to keep trying. Yeah. You can't give it up. You can't give up. Yeah, if it wasn't for failure, there you know there wouldn't be success. Yes, definitely, definitely. Hey, how do you increase sales and bring in more customers in a in a, a small town area there? So all, my biggest thing now is, is word of mouth um, marketing. You know, the most of my marketing then it's basically just Facebook, Instagram, um, social media. Um, we do have a Google page. But 
I think just getting it out there and people, you know, seeing the quality of work and the what what they get out of it and passing it on and and also the the difference um, other small businesses in this area you know you got to make those connections um, and build those relationships with other businesses and then that's just another avenue for them to put to put you out um, you know which it, other business are you talking are, about like like when you're at the fair and they have the insurance guy and the doctor and the and that, and the yeah. chiropractor those kind of businesses or are you talking about other kind of businesses like PDR and 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 other things like that both both um you know we live in a small community and it's you know I'll, well, i like to keep things in the community um so you know you, oh, yeah we got you know, a tent guy uh, you know, radio guy um repair shops uh, car dealers um that that have our cards that they're pushing pushing our names out and i get stuff from them you know every week um of new customers but on the, in the same aspect, my chiropractor, he's got cards. You know, it, everybody, every relationship, everybody that you meet is an opportunity to create business revenue income. But it goes both ways, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you could, you know, while you're walking, and I, and I said this on the last two podcasts, but I'll say it again. While you're doing the walk around and with the person and you're like, okay, look at the scratch there. It looks like a shopping cart hits you there. You ever wanted to get that dent taken out? Cause you know, a guy right. and the, and you know, we can, we can have that. He can come over while I'm on the other side of the car. He can pop that dent out and I can, then I can finish that up. Oh, it's kind of hot out here. Didn't you, you want to get tint? I got a guy, he could come over here and do the tint and, and then, Oh, your, uh, your girlfriend, uh, you let her drive your, uh, Lamborghini and it mashed the wheels on the curb. Oh man, I got a guy. So, mm -hmm. you know, you got it. Oh, your back hurts. I got a chiropractor. He's just down the street. He's my chiropractor. <laughs> you know, it's just, it right. all goes both ways. And I just love living in a small town that you, people know you, and you go to the bank, they know your name the restaurant, they know your name. And, uh, so yep. yeah, that's, uh, it's good stuff. And I, I think you have that going on where you're at, right? Right. Excellent. Yeah. There's times I don't even, you know, we get those calls with it. It's not even for detailing. It's about something else, but you know, everybody knows the guy. Everyone um, knows the guy. Point, yeah. Oh, do you know, it? Do, you, in the right direction. do you know yeah. how I can do around. this? And you're like, yeah, I got a radio guy. Your radio don't work. Oh yeah. He can, he can put that thing right. in. Excellent. 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 Well, speaking of referrals and marketing and revenue, we're going to go to a quick revenue break. Your new go-to ceramic coating is here. Pearl Nano Extreme Version 2. We call it XV2. Super easy to apply, ultra slick, and extremely chemical resistant. This is not your typical ceramic coating. This is an extreme ceramic coating. To find out what all the fuss is about, send us an email sales at pearlnano.com. Tell them that you heard about XV2 on this podcast and receive 20% off your first bottle. Pearl Nano, dare to be different. And what do you think about the XV2 ceramic coating? Uh, that is our go-to. That, that is the main... I'm not going to say the only, um, well, I can't, the only purchase coating that, that we install, um, that's exclusively what we use and it has been wonderful. Tell us why. I have, I have no complaints. The, the ease of installation, um, the price point, um, and the results. I've got it on both of my personal vehicles. My, my personal vehicle, my wife's personal vehicle, it's been, I put XV2 on my wife's, I, I want to say the month that it came out. Um, and no complaints. I haven't had a single coating complaint on that, on that coating. Well, we've been working with, with thousands of detailers as far away as Germany, and I'm getting the same, the same story, the same, the same everything. And uh, people absolutely love it. They're switching or they use it, but they still are saying they're using the other coating, but they're not. I got a, a lot of people doing a lot of things and the, the feedback is out of this world. Plus we have the tests that show that it's 
more than a three to five year coding, like I say, we, the tests say right. six to 12 years, but I don't say that publicly. Oh, wait, I just did. Right. But, uh, yeah. It, the proof is in the putty. The people are out there using it every day like yourself. And you're, t I'm not telling you to say this. You're saying this on your own. You know, this yeah. is, and there are detailers all over the place that are calling me every single day telling me the same exact stuff. So I know I'm onto something here. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's other coatings that I, things that I even want to try and I, I don't because everything's working just as it should. Like, yeah, don't mess with it. <laughs> it works. Don't mess with it. Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. Let's see. How about a detail hack as a detail hacker? What, what kind of uh, tip or trick would you recommend using like a tool or a product or a technique do you have anything that you could share with us? For me, I think what I, I love are the mini bristle vacuum attachments, um, the real small ones. Um, when I do an interior, yeah, I'll go in, you know, wipe everything down with APC, um, get all your scuffs and your, you know, big stuff off but there's always that that little bit of dust you know behind i go over every everything that i can get to with those little mini attachment brushes um and it, it gets every little piece of dust that's left behind it gets down in the cracks um that is probably the best but just get those small details that normally aren't hit um and i think that makes a major difference interesting all right I, I said this on a couple, I think the podcast with uh, Rob Torres that that uh, Matt Barlow had come up with, he had uh, sprayed some of the Metal X on the the brackets of the seats that hold it down onto the floor, and it sometimes rusts the, the yeah. rust gets on there. He put some Metal X on there, and it went away. Have you ever tried that? I have not. I did hear that, though, today. I was listening to that podcast uh, maybe four or five hours ago. And um, I was thinking about it when when I heard it. I was like, man, I just had a vehicle the other day. I could have tried that on. But it's definitely going to happen. Yeah, so I want to thank Matt Barlow for sharing that with us. And he's going to be in here. He's a local detailer. He's going to be in here. and We'll do a podcast here pretty soon. Great. And uh, Great. he was a, a paramedic for 20 years, and they wanted to force the vax on him. And he said, no go. Nope, you can stick the vax they up your vax. So. <laughs> So he became a detailer full time and he's killing it in this area. Him and Jose, I got a couple, couple great detailers here in this area that are just doing great, great work. So yeah, that was his tip or trick. Any other things like that besides the, the, uh, the vacuum cleaner one? No, those, those things make, they make a world of difference. Um, that and you, a good drill brush, um, you know, right. Comes in wanting stuff shampooed and stuff all the time. And half the time I don't, I said more than half the time. I don't have to shampoo. If you get, you know, a good, a good all purpose cleaner or enzyme cleaner or a, drill, a good drill brush, you can, you can get most anything out. Excellent. So as you probably know, I'm into constantly learning, growing business, personal, it doesn't really matter. I, I read a lot of books, take a lot of online courses, listen to a lot of books on audio and, and you know, I'm a big, uh, Grant Cardone, 10 X rule mm -hmm. fan, you know, my boat's named 10 X and everything's 10 X. Even this is the 10 X detail podcast. So one of the books that I have listened to probably about 50 times is be obsessed or be average. That's another good book by, by Grant Cardone. And, you know, do you want to be obsessed or do you want to be average? Which one are you, Andrew? Uh, I feel like if you ask, ask anyone about me and my business and what I do, they would hundred percent tell you that I'm obsessed. Excellent. I mean, you think, it, you think Elon Musk is, is obsessed? Oh, no doubt. That dude's all, he sleeps under his desk. They say all about it. So, uh, all right. We covered some awesome tips and tricks there. How about words of advice? You know, you've been doing this two years. I work with some people that have been doing this 30 years. Some guys started yesterday. What would you tell them that would help them with their business that if they're just starting out? I think the biggest, the biggest thing 
for for me and for anyone is is don't be afraid to fail. Um, you know, failure. Nobody wants to fail, um, but you're never going to know unless you do it. Um, and, and if you fail, you fail. You know, fail. You know, miraculously, and get back up and go back at it. And I think that was the biggest thing for us jumping into. You know, it wasn't that. You know, it was easy you know, going to work, um, getting a paycheck, and coming home, and that was that. Um, there's comfort in that. You know, there's, there's security. Um, now it's it, it's all on me. Um, so you gotta, you know, just go out there, go for it, um, do what do what you want to do. You only you only got so much time, and you, know, you only go around one time. So. True. Uh, yes. You're saying you to want. go out there and, and 10 exit. And like Les Brown said, if you're going to, if you're going to fall, fall on your back. Cause if you can look up, you can get up. And uh, that's, right. <laughs> that's what he says. So, okay. So what does 10 X mean to you? I know we've been talking about all this and uh, I think you have something that tells us about what 10 X is. Yeah. Just going, going above and beyond. I mean, every treat, every customer, every vehicle, um, the same uh, i don't i've had you know, vehicles in here with windows knocked out of them and it gets the same treatment that a brand new mercedes would get um just go that little extra mile you know this is a um a luxury service this isn't something that people need um necessarily it's it's a luxury um so you know make it that way not just the detail that they get, but in the, you know, the way you, you know, speak to them, you build that relationship, um, not as a customer, as a, as a friendship. Um, and that's how I try to treat everybody. Um, not just in business, but in, in life in general, treat everybody how you want to be treated and try to go, you know, above and beyond for that person. I love it. That's exactly it. And also the, the 10 X mindset, you know, don't do things at one at one X, do things at 10 X. It's not, maybe not yeah. doing it, but thinking it, I'm going to do 10 times as many cars. Maybe you can only do three or four, but at least tell yourself, you know, we can only do three a day. Okay. We're going to do six. We're going to do seven and you're going to be falling down tired, but you just made double the amount of money. And, uh, yeah, over, you don't, over time you're, you, but if you, it's a, what I'm saying is, is your brain has that, that they don't know the difference between real and just saying it. So if you think 10 X, I'm going to 10 X my business this year, we have a small town. I'm going to get 10 times as many cars in. And if we fall short at only five times as many, you're not going to complain. Right. Right. Yeah. If you don't set that goal, you have nothing to reach. Yes, you got to have a goal. You think Elon Musk has a goal? Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of goals. I don't know what's next, but. <laughs> well, I'm going to sail around the world, and I need Starlink to work perfectly, and that's my goal for him <laughs> is to make <laughs> make sure I can have Internet access around the world anywhere. It's close. It's not quite there, but it's it's real, real close. All yeah, right. and then you, you got to have your cell service and. I remember that um, the first time I was supposed to meet with you when before we hopped on the, the Pearl Nano train, um, we had to re redo our meeting. You we were sailing uh, off the Gulf of Mexico, I believe, and didn't have good cell service. And we had to we had to back our back our little phone meeting up. But I tell you what, it was, it's probably the best best decision that that we've made um, going with you guys. It's it's a, you got a great thing going, and just keep doing what you're doing. Yes, and, and I reward people that are out there ten x in it. You know, uh, I can't do it for you. You got to go out there and uh, right. you know grind away and make stuff Absolutely. happen. But I only help people that help themselves. So if you're not helping yourself, you're not going to get a lot of help from me. So uh, I can't go and and get customers and clean the cars for you and do these things. But right. if I if you ask for advice and I say, hey, you need to go out here and do X, Y, and Z, and you know get the book and read it and think about. 10 X in your life and your business. Uh, if you do it and you, and I ask, Hey, Andrew, I, one of the things I really need you to do is take before, during and after pictures, or at least after pictures and post them on your Facebook page. 
If so, I'll post them other places and you're one of the, the few people that do it. And I post your pictures almost every single day of a car that you did, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. I don't know if that yep. helps or not, but I tell you what, I see it and I, I feel good to do it. It just takes a couple seconds of my time, but I am taking my time to post your pictures yeah. on uh, the Calling All Detailers Facebook page and you're crushing it out there. So when I see that 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 ten Xism out there, that's why I think my own word there. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to reward it. So I want you to keep, you know, keep kicking butt and taking names. So Andrew, where yeah, do we I, find? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I I see it. I notice it, and I we really appreciate you know what you do for us. Also, it's it's great. Well, I appreciate it as well. Tell us where we can find your Facebook page, Instagram, website satellite phone whatever it is we can uh we can contact you from all right so on uh facebook we're at dirty details 369 uh instagrams at dirty details detailing and then about i'd say about two months ago we put a website up um which is dirty dash details dash 369 dot square dot site um and then you can also find us on google um and it's been it's been great it's been great excellent we're gonna go to a quick break before we say goodbye have you ever wanted your own brand of car care products either to use in the shop or sell to your customers well you're in luck at privatelabelcarcare.com we make it super easy and painless because we do all the work for you all you have to do is go out there and sell it just fill out the form online and see if you qualify that's privatelabelcarcare.com. All right. If you like today's show, please share it with others and on social media. If you'd like to be on the show, go on over to callingalldetailers.com. You'll see a, a text there that says secure your spot. Click on that and schedule an appointment with me. Thanks, Andrew, for being on the show and sharing your experiences with us. Just remember to keep learning, keep growing, and keep 10Xing it. We'll see you on the next episode of the 10X Detail Podcast. My name is David Elliott from Pearl Nano and calling all detailers. Well, Andrew, it's been a pleasure. It's been my pleasure. Thanks so much, Dave. All right. Well, we'll talk with you soon.